everyone and welcome back to my channel! You know, even though I work mostly with Barbie and Monster High dolls, I really love experimenting sometimes with completely new types, kinds and you know, brands of dolls, because it really helps me to avoid the routine, to avoid the creative block, even the burnout. And this is exactly what we are going to do today. Because today I have prepared this amazingly pretty Paola Reina doll. I don't know, this is probably the prettiest doll I've ever destroyed here on my channel. And actually I have bought this doll already probably nine months ago or something like this and all this time I've been walking around this doll looking at her and I just don't dare to start because this doll is so pretty really this is just the prettiest doll ever and uh, I really I'm just not sure if I can make this doll even prettier because I don't know, I just, I'm just scared to destroy a very pretty doll and to not be able to make her even prettier than she was before. But anyway, this is what my channel is about, about destroying dolls, about transforming them, about giving them complete makeovers. And that's why today it's finally time for this gorgeous Paula Reina doll. Let us pray that everything is going to go good and smooth and that she's going to end up very pretty in the end but anyway let's open this box let's prepare this doll for the transformation let's remove her outfit raise her face probably cut off her hair but anyway first of all we're going to take a closer look and while I'm working, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes. The first thing I notice when I open the box is a very nice smell. It's a little bit like a vanilla scent or kind of, I don't know, old-fashioned face powder, something like this, but I would say it kind of fits the doll. Here it says made in Spain, so it's an original brand doll. Yeah, and here she is, our beautiful girl, and my first impression is that this doll is quite heavy. Even though it's a mini version of Paola, it's just a little bit taller than Barbie dolls. See, I think it's 32 cm tall, but it's really much heavier and it also feels quite solid, like, you know, quite a solid quality thing. And all the details are absolutely adorable and she even has this brand logo on the bottom of the shoes. And this hairbrush is actually quite useful because it really can brush this doll's hair really very nice, like it should. Yeah guys, and even though I love this doll so much, I'm going to remove it all right now and I will try to give a completely new look. So I start with removing her outfit and then I'll cut all her beautiful hair off. And here is, by the way, some discoloration or like staining on her body, the dress has stained it and this is actually the first minus point so far. And I also think that some people might be quite sensitive to this scent. I wonder, by the way, how long it will stay. I will give you an update in the end of this video if she still has this aroma because right now it's pretty intense, I can tell you honestly. Of course, this is all quite painful, but this is my job, guys. And after all, I can go and buy another doll like this if I mess up with this one completely. Okay, now let's disconnect the head from the body and it goes quite easily, so I don't need to warm it up today. And then I'm going to remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. Mm -hmm. 
And this vanilla smell, it stays very intense, by the way. I was expecting to find some scented sachet inside of the box or something like this, but no, this is actually the doll itself that smells like vanilla. Then I remove the eyelashes and after this I can remove her face with pure acetone. I want to give her ginger hair, you know guys, all dolls with red hair are my favorites. And I also think it would kind of fit this doll as well, I mean fit her face sculpt, fit her style and character. So I've chosen this saran hair and now I'm going to fill in all these holes in her head with this new hair. And I even have a special rerouting tool, ideal for the bigger dolls. And approximately six hours later, our girl has brand new ginger hair. Now I want to add some tacky glue inside of the head to keep all this new hair in. And then I will let it dry for sure for 24 hours. So the glue got dry, I've already put a protection around her hair and now I'm also going to protect her eyes with masking tape. And after this I can spray the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. It will make the surface matte and I will be able to draw on it using soft pastels and watercolor pencils. Yeah, there is not much to sketch today, she already has her eyes, so I'm going to draw the eyebrows, the nostrils and then I start working on the skin tone, trying to make the lips and the eyelids more realistic and more detailed.
Okay, I'm already quite happy with the face. I'm still going to add some details later, but right now I'm going to let it for a while and I'm going to work on her body. This doll's body, it feels quite nice. By the way, it has a very nice rubberish, kind of, I don't know, soft touch surface. I have no idea if I can seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then blush with pastels. Really, I have no idea, guys. Maybe it will all peel off. But we are experimenting today, so let's try everything and see what will happen. So now I'm going to clean her body with rubbing alcohol to remove my own fingerprints and then we'll seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we'll blush it with soft pastels. I will not be able to cover up these stained spots completely, but let's try to make them at least less visible. Okay, and her body looks very good so far. I shouldn't worry that much in the beginning. And now I still want to add some freckles to the face and to the body because I think it will create a very realistic skin texture. And for this I'm going to use very liquid acrylic paint diluted with water. And with a very hard synthetic brush I'm going to spray the freckles on. Okay, it looks really great guys, so now let's remove the protection tape from the eyes and then I'm going to add glossy varnish to her lips. The false lashes I'm going to attach in the very end after finishing her hair, but right now I want to make an outfit for her I think. And especially for this doll, I've prepared an extremely adorable fabric with cute cats and now we're going to make a dress out of it. I begin with stitching all the details together to make a basic dress and after this I'm going to decorate it with lace and with some ribbon or something like this. And this is, by the way, an authentic vintage French lace. I've got it from my mother-in-law and she got it from her mother. So I think this beautiful doll for sure deserves this beautiful lace.
So here is the dress, it looks very cute I think And now let's make a pair of white socks for my doll using some baby socks I've got in our local store Okay, the next step is making shoes for my girl and first of all I'm going to copy the pattern of the original shoes and you know well it's very easy to outline the soles on paper but to get a pattern from the top part of the shoes I will need to put a little bit more effort in it and first of all I'm covering the shoes with masking tape. Then I can take the tape off and copy its shape on paper. I've cut out all the details of the future shoes out of Warbler and now we're going to connect them all together. And if you suddenly don't know yet what Warbler is, it is a thermoplastic, it becomes very soft and sticky when you warm it up, for example with a hair dryer, and then it cools down and it becomes a very hard plastic again. For me this is an unmissable product for making shoes, bags, other kinds of accessories, I don't know, you can make literally everything out of it.
So here are the shoes and now I'm going to cover them with red and black acrylics. Now I'm going to take this fork and I'm going to make three bows out of this red ribbon. The two of the bows I will attach to the shoes. And the third one is going to land on the head of this adorable mini teddy bear. And he's also a real vintage thing by the way, so I think he will become a perfect companion for the doll. Okay, now it's time to make her hair. Well, first of all, I need to figure out how to make her hair split because it was made originally kind of out of three rows of hair. It was sort of, I don't know, braided, something like this. So, this is how it was in the beginning, before I cut her hair off and now I need to remake it again, in some way. Well, and it looks quite good after some practicing, of course I had to redo it a couple of times, but yeah, the end result looks good after all. And now let's take a hair curler and give her some curls. And here is her final new hair, and it looks very pretty, I think, guys. So now I can finally attach the false lashes. I've also decided to add some darker hair to the eyebrows using acrylics. And yeah, this is it probably. Now I can put everything together and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So and here is our cute girl and I think she's probably one of my favorite dolls on this channel guys. I was totally in love with her before the transformation and after the makeover, I don't know, she has just stolen my heart completely. I don't even know why I was so much worried before repainting her. Because normally I can make even quite ugly dolls look very pretty and having an adorable doll as a canvas like we did today. It's actually quite a guarantee of success, so I have no idea why I was so much scared in the beginning. And you know, I will not even put this doll for sale. I will keep her here in my studio as a decoration. Oh yes, and I still wanted to give you the smell update in the end because I almost forgot it already. Well, now I still can smell this vanilla scent, but it's not that strong anymore. Now you really need to come very close to the doll to feel it. Like, anyway, I mean like probably 50 centimeter away, you already can feel this scent. But anyway, it's not that strong anymore. But in the beginning, it was absolutely overwhelming. I was rerouting her hair in the living room and I could smell it there for three days after I finished the job and removed the doll back to the studio and the smell it stayed. 
so I would say it's definitely too strong in the beginning but it becomes less later okay now I've told and showed you everything I think and now I'm waiting for your reaction I really can't wait to hear how you would find this new kind of a doll transformation on my channel so please share your thoughts with us in the comments under this video and please guys tell me if I should repaint more of these dolls So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon, next week Friday, in a new doll repaint video. Love you, guys. Bye.